This was Lewis and Clark's first stop on their westward journey, and the story Jeremy Couture also tells us it is the first capital of the state of Missouri. And Danny Williams is hoping that it is a good place to make his Metro St. Louis homecoming as he's an 18-1 lightweight prospect who went away to Youngstown, Ohio, said it helped him change his ways, just simply being separated from some of the people back home, got himself into trouble, went away, served time from 06 to 08, and now a promising prospect. So Joe, before you start, uh, before you start talking about his resume and how he wants to uh, become champion, he got hit with the right hand, but it was only one shot. He got hit with the right hand, but he took it well, and, and he responded well. But, you know, this, this fight has to be... Uh, He like that, and the fight is over. Steve Smoger wastes no time. He put the jab behind him, then the right hand, cash in, it's over. Antonio Cervantes is out on his back. Danny Williams with a crushing blow. Dr. Raynal Caldwell and Matthew Hart in the ring attending to Antonio Cervantes. And you can see that he is responding. He is responsive as Williams celebrates an utterly spectacular knockout. We'll show you plenty of replays on this. First you feel very, very, very happy, but then within seconds you realize that a guy can get up here. So you worry, it's mixed emotions. You see, Williams is on the ropes, he's just celebrating, but then again, he's coming back over, he's looking, making sure that guy's okay. So it's mixed emotions. It's, you know, you want to you want to be happy that you got a victory, but then you, you're concerned because the guy haven't got up yet. Dr. Caldwell and Hart are taking this slow for Cervantes step by step. They sit him up. You can see they're putting ice on the back of the head. I mean, it was a thud when his head hit the canvas. We're going to show you plenty of this, folks. Here it is, Danny Williams' spectacular KO. Bernard, how did he make it happen? He, he had fake a jab. Like you said, it was a throwaway jab in the right hand. He got his opponent to look at the jab, and then he set him up the leverage with the straight right hand. And he done that shot early in the fight. He did the same thing and hit him with the, with the right hand. See, he just threw it out there. It's a, it's a throwaway jab. And then the right hand. Here's in real speed. Listen to this. Two massive thumps. First is the leather of the right hand of Danny Williams to the chin of Cervantes, and then the back of the head of the 33-year-old Cervantes hitting the ring. Steve Smoger wasted not one second waving off this fight. The canvas was the biggest blow. You heard the poof, because that's the biggest blow. It's been but that Steve, time of the year on Friday Night Fight. Yes. Bernard. Steve Smoger is new that one of the reasons to count. If you count, it might be, you know, really, really bad to count why this guy's out like this. You need help, you need assistance. They got to him right away. Been that kind of a year. One dynamic finish after another. And for our latest, we send it up to the ring to Thomas Driver. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. One minute, five seconds of round number four. Your winner by way of knockout, Dangerous. Williams has now won seven straight since his only loss back in 2009. He moves his mark to 19 and one with 15 knockouts. That's a nice way to come back home and showcase your skills in front of family and friends. Big right hand ends the night of Antonio Cervantes. We've got a good main event coming your way with Kermit Sintra for now. We send it back to the studio and Ryan Kenny. Well, thank you so much.